Where'd that power come from, man? That was pretty impressive. Comes from the legs, man. <laughs> I got that power from wrestling, you know, growing up, kicking my brothers all the time. Finally, the coach at uh, CSA, Kieran, was like, let that thing go. So that's what we've been working on, man, letting those kicks go, becoming a different fighter, more well-rounded fighter. That's what I displayed tonight. You definitely did, man. It, you know, it's crazy because he blocked it, and, and still it knocked him down. So when he went down, did you know he was hurt? I mean, were you just going to established position, or were you like, no, this is my time to finish? You know, I, I, I'm a jumper. I, when I see somebody go down, I'm on top of them. So it was really a, a split second, you know, it, same thing with uh, Hector. You know, as soon as I saw him go down, it's an instinct of mine to just jump on him. And uh, I, I have good control on top, you know what I mean? So it was a natural instinct. He's going down. He's hurt, obviously. You don't just go down for fun in this game, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I knew he was hurt. How, how good do you feel right now in this win streak that you put together? Tough names, you know. I mean, you're the guy, the vet that's been around. They're giving you these up and coming kids, and you're, yeah. and you're setting them down. I mean, how, how good does that feel right now? Man, it feels amazing to, to work so hard for so many weeks, so many days, so many months, so many years that I put into this, and to go in there and get the finish. It's just, it's an unbelievable feeling that I can't even describe, you know. And, and like you said, they keep giving me these up and comers. He was on a three fight win streak. Pantoza was on a three fight win streak. Hector was coming up, you know, and I'm stopping these guys. So quit giving me these guys. I, I want to move forward. I want to move to the top. I want my title shot, you know. I fought the who's who, like you just said, and uh, I feel like I'm earning it very, very quick, along with a $50,000 bonus tonight. <laughs> you told me earlier in the week that with the win tonight, you want a title eliminated, right? You want one more fight than the title shot. Now that the win this one tonight is behind you, do you have any other team right fight? Man, I, I don't. You know, I fought everybody almost ahead of me. Uh, I feel like if I haven't fought them, they have a fight lined up. So it's back to the drawing board. You know what I mean? The This, this business knows what they're doing. Uh, they know it's time for me to move up, um, especially through all the fights that I've been through. And uh, they'll make the right decision. I, I'm trusting that. I don't know if you were aware of this, but uh, you winning in round one, the prop was like 1450. Uh, which so I don't know if any of your friends bet any money tonight or whatever, but just you know what does it feel like to, to be counted out? You know all these times you've been on this winning streak, you get you get a, a statement win here tonight. What's that mentality going into a fight like this? Oh, it just makes me hungry. You know what I mean? I've been the underdog my entire life, even in elementary school as an underdog. You know what I mean? So uh, I hope some people made some good money. I hope they slide a little my way. Uh, and I'll do the same if I get the 50 G's. You know, so it. it it doesn't relieve any pressure, to be honest. There's no like, oh, I'm the underdog, I have nothing to lose. You have so much to lose every fight, you know what I mean? When you made it to this to this stage, every fight is very important. And I take it as a huge setback when you lose. You know, everything freezes and you go back and you go back, you know, yeah. you go back to the drawing board, you go back to back, you just move back. So uh, to win in the first, uh, first round, injury free, you know, I'm back at it. I'm gonna take just enough time to, breathe because I just got out of a training camp and, and I'm back at it. I'm, I'm chopping on the daily. Yeah. What is it about Canada? You seem to perform really well here. Your last win in Toronto against Zach Makovsky. Yeah. Uh, you love fighting here by the sounds of it. I do. I just wish they didn't take so much of my money yeah. <laughs> when, I, when I make it here. I put on such a good show and then they do that to me. I, we're going to have to talk about that. But I actually kind of have the same haircut that I did with Zach. I was just thinking yeah. that before this. Uh, I love Canada, man. I, I keep coming back here, uh, training, training with uh, Yoni and other guys, you know. Um, it's a little weird this time because it's not freezing cold and there's no snow, but yeah. we're going to have a good time tonight and this weekend and, and just enjoy what I do. How much of an asset is Yoni Sherbatov in your camp? We saw him in the Ultimate Fighter. Uh, you know, he had some bad luck, but he's still one of the top uh, fighters in the world. Uh, you, you get to train with him a lot. I know you go up to Canada. How much of an asset is he for you? Man, he, he's opened my eyes to so many things, you know what I mean? He, he's a super underrated guy, just like myself. Uh, small, quiet, until you get to know him, and, and he's a super funny guy. And he just adds so much to my striking and the way that I train and my outlook, you know what I mean? I, I love to live in Nashville, but yet train in, uh, in California between CSA and AKA, and then go up to Canada and train with him. and. I think that's really what has evolved me as a person and as a fighter. So uh, them bringing me up there and helping him helps me out as well. And we both gained from it, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. Uh, Dustin, you mentioned that uh, you know, how much a loss can send you back. But now you've won three straight. The first time winning three straight since you joined the UFC, actually. Mm -hmm. Is there anything you can point to that's kind of um, you know, contributing mainly to this consistency and success? 
<laughs> I'm, I'm pointing to me, man. It, you know, uh, the coaches and, and gyms and everybody uh, puts their part. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I'm the one getting up first thing in the morning. I'm the one running when I really don't want to. I'm the one going to cryotherapy when I know it's just freezing in there for three and a half minutes. You know, uh, it, it's just hard. You know, God put a good heart in here and I'm trying to make the most out of it uh, and really surrounding myself with good coaches, good training partners, and all around good people in all aspects, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, like I said earlier, moving around keeps my mind free and and just seeing somebody do a random act is like, it's motivating to me, you know? So just having a good mindset. How are you celebrating tonight? Hopefully some good barbecue. I've been, you know, watching videos on Instagram and Facebook of food and uh, I, I'm not a drinker, so I'm not going to be out drinking. I'm going to surround myself with people who came here to support me. Hopefully see some fans, take some pictures, sign some autographs and eat, you know. Uh, I, I don't eat too crazy all the time, uh, but when I do, I, I truly enjoy it. Let's throw some chocolate chip cookies in there, a milkshake. Let's call it a night. Say again? Be a later <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you know, I get big, but, uh, you know, it's all muscle. Look at this. Look at this. 15 seconds right here. What was it? First round right here. So. You tried the head kick a couple of times during the first round. Was a strategy coming up for this fight? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, Mateus is very precise with his boxing and I knew that and I've, I've put myself in his position and I was like he thinks I'm going to come out here and try to wrestle him like I always do you know and th that's what I'm known for so uh, just mixing it up throwing kicks keeping distance not really that first round was just feel him out you know throw up some kicks see what his reaction is uh, keep him landing and the ultimate goal was to just land him on his arms tire his arms out you know and uh, if anything kind of slow his upper body down but I got some power in these legs. It made it through and, and dropped him, and then I finished it. So, yeah, kicks and, and movement were the, the initial game plan for this. Yeah, absolutely. You know, I, I feel like back in the day, uh, they were saying, you know, I'm one of the, the lead guys, you know, because I, I, I was at Tachi Palace and, and all those organizations coming up with a lot of the uh, Joseph Benavidez's and Demetrius Johnson's. And I was like, wow, they put me in that category, you know, that, that's amazing. So um, to really be that guy now, finishing guys, it does happen. And like you said, it doesn't happen. I, I finished, uh, I, I have finished other fights, you know, and uh, Doing it in this fashion, I'm a I'm leading the I'm leading the pack right now. Do you think the flyweight division? I mean, maybe a couple years out, Cody actually gets as popular as that weight class. Get says what? Popular. And as it's been some kind of like don't drink that over because it's as bad as that is. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think uh, it's going to be years. To be honest, I think it's going to be years until uh, your fan base is really knowledge knowledgeable on what's going on. You know what I mean? It, I, I wasn't around when boxing was first coming up, but I'm guessing that people are like, what is this? They're just punching each other, you know, and then footwork came into it. And then people are like, oh, wow, there's there's something going on here that's really cool, you know. Uh, but anytime soon, I, I don't think so. I don't I don't you know, even with these knockouts going on, the the flyweights usually last 15 minutes and people would. They're impatient these days. They just on their Instagram scrolling, you know. And uh, if a fight goes longer than that, then they're scrolling to the next one. Thanks, Dustin. Absolutely, fellas. Thank you.